Wait, how many minutes do we get? Three. Three minutes! <laughs> Three minutes! You guys right, are all in the room. <laughs> in the room. We can't be out here. I thought it was in here. No, no you can't minutes. be in here. Go. Are you, are you doing it in here? Yes. <laughs> out. <laughs> I'll be behind the door. No, out. Where are you going? Where are you going? She I'm, has to be I'm here because she's filmed. I'm so I'm here. This is my production. This is bullshit. I should be allowed right here, front and center. Go, go. Right, you got leave. time. Go. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Okay, you gotta be quiet. Oh, my God. That was not quiet. That was the opposite of quiet. Is anybody in here? Mm-hmm. Got seven people. Nine people. What's up, guys? We're gonna start in a second. I'm just waiting for my family to, to settle down. Okay. Can you sure they close that door to me? Hey, do you wanna do a test sound or something? So yeah, let me just let me yeah, I'll test it real quick. Yeah. Oh shoot, that was tiny. Wow. That might help. Sound technician to return. <laughs> huh? Yeah, but the difference. You want me to play a different track? everyone, my name is Precious Perez and welcome to my virtual senior recital. I'm so excited because these are such unprecedented times and you know this wasn't the way I envisioned doing it but I'm just super excited that I get to present what I've been working on for the past four years with all of you and uh, man like my love and music are two of the biggest driving forces in my life and give me such a sense of stability in these times so I'm really excited to share this with all of you. So without further ado, this is my journey to shame. Uh, it all begins on a Sunday, March 3rd in 2013. We end up meeting through mutual friends online and we're talking on Skype at our houses and I'm writing a paper, probably an English paper, and he is wondering about how Harry Potter became a musical turned into a musical and no further communication after that happened for a few months because we just didn't really know each other 
and in October of that year, Shane finds out that my boyfriend is messing around with his girlfriend's sister. And so he's trying to get me, like he's trying to send me messages to check in on me, but I just think he's weird because I don't know this guy and he's just randomly sending me messages and I'm like, no, I don't stop. <laughs> He still gives me shit for that today. But anyway, um, a couple months go by. We keep running into each other um, on Skype through mutual friends, and we have a lot in common. And I share my songs with him online. I find out that he's a percussionist, and we both love music. And so we keep crossing paths until the infamous December of 2013, when... No, 2014, when I go through a bad breakup because my boyfriend cheated, and we help each other through really big changes in our lives, and chat for hours online, uh, he buys me pizza on my birthday, and <laughs> we have a chat one day with one of my friends, Daisy, if you're listening, shout out to Daisy. And as a result of that chat, I wrote the following song. Sorry, wrong thing. She's perched all alone. Burn it. 
up to keep strength up. When you fall and get back up, but you don't have to be afraid. You might be hurt, but you've got people who know where to help you up. So you'll find a life in happiness you never thought you'd see return. So, also during this time, I was doing things with the Handel and Haydn Society. Shout out to Jennifer Scrum and Catherine Fields. Um, and I shared some of my classical covers with Shane as well. Um, and an example of that is this song called Let the Bright Seraphim by Handel. I hope you enjoy it.
So in October of 2015, I start dating a new guy. And Shane is happy for me. So he says. <laughs> and I subject him to what I like to call my girl moments, where I would rave and say, wow, I'm so in love. And I'm sorry, <laughs> Shane, for that. Um, you had to endure all of that. So, yeah, this next one is called L.O.E. to do that and like my family um, so that sticks out to me during that time and you know I, I accomplish a lot in Valencia and I'm so happy but also so far away from from what I know um, and that leads us into Girl on Fire <laughs> Filled with 
catastrophe, but she knew she could fly away. Whoa. later. I'm back in Boston on the Berkeley campus and there's a whole lot going on let me tell you. I was depressed because of the culture shock from coming back from such a nurturing place to a place where I feel like a small fish in a big pond and that takes a toll on my mental health and I'm going through a lot. I get rejected from The Voice during that, like, when I'm back, it's the spring semester, so all of this happens, and I'm just like, I cannot deal. <laughs> and then my boyfriend is like, I can't come visit you for spring break because money. And so then I say, okay, well then I'm just gonna go visit my best friend instead. So I fly from my house in Boston to Shane's house in Kentucky. And during that week, during spring break, we did a gig. Well, it wasn't really a gig. We did like a busk type deal uh, right in front of Royal's Hot Chicken. Great restaurant, by the way. In case you haven't been, you should go. So this is Havana. One, two.
No, two days after the concert, and a day before I leave Kentucky to come back home, Shane tells me that he has feelings for me. And it's wild because something had felt off in my life for the longest time. And I just couldn't pinpoint it. I was like, maybe it's me. Maybe it's, I don't know, school. Like, I just, I can't figure it out. And then he says he loves me. And everything just clicks. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's the answer. I'm in love with my best friend. And I still think about it. And I'm just like, that's so surreal. It's like a movie. Really. It really is. And I, I'm just baffled. But <laughs> this is a hailstorm tune that Shane actually showed me early on. And it's called Breakin'.
So, I go home, and my heart is torn in half, and I'm a mess, because I know I have to break up with my boyfriend, but I don't want to hurt him, but I know I have to, because I know how real the feelings that I have are. So I come home, I'm a mess, I'm like, Mom, help! Please help! <laughs> I'm crying, and I'm like, Shane confessed his love to me, and my mom goes, I knew it! I was like, oh. which we find out after the fact that everybody around us thinks this, and we're the only ones who were clueless, apparently. <laughs> so, I decide that I can't sit on it anymore, because I just, I'm too sensitive. I can't, like, have that on my heart and not deal with it. So, I go to a work thing, and I come home, and I break up with my boyfriend. Um, it's the right thing to do, but it wasn't easy. Pasito a 
pasito, suave, suavecito, nos vamos pegando un poquito. Que le enseñes a mi boca tus lugares favoritos. Pasito, pasito, suave, suavecito, nos vamos pegando un poquito hasta provocar tus chitos y que olvides tu apellido. Despacito. So a few days later, after the soap opera that is my life unfolds, Shane and I get together on March 27th of 2018. And three months after that, we attend the Taylor Swift Reputation concert with Camila Cabello as an opener. And I absolutely love Camila Cabello. And for anyone who knows Shane Lowe, they know that he's probably the biggest fan of Bon Jovi in the history of this earth. So, this is important because I am to Taylor Swift as Shane is to Bon Jovi.
we move on to 2019. On, in June, on Father's Day, we go on a trip to the zoo with Shane's son, Kaysen, and Kaysen's family, and his mom, and it's important to mention because Kaysen is basically now my stepson, and we've all come a long way, and it, it's really, it fills all of our hearts that we are now a good team, and at this time, it kind of solidifies that when we go on this trip together, and so that's, that's a really big milestone. And then, we decide to go to Europe together, alone, <laughs> together but solo, um, because Bon Jovi's on tour in Europe in July 2019, and Shane says to me, Precious, wouldn't it be cool if we went to Europe? And I say, sure, dude, let's do it, and we made it happen, and one of the stops we make is Valencia, which all of you know is very close to my heart. Um, all of the experiences I've had there can't be compared to anything, and I'm so immensely grateful for it. This man, okay, this man has me thinking, because we talk about, you know, getting engaged because we're serious, and, you know, it's a conversation you have because you want to make sure that the person you're with isn't going to, like, I don't know, run away or something. So, <laughs> he has me thinking that I guessed it right, that, that he's going to propose on the holidays or something, and so... I'm not expecting that when we go to Galileo, which is where I stayed in Valencia, with our friends Chris and Simon, shout out to Chris and Simon, that he's going to propose to me on the rooftop, because I was feeling some kind of way. It was Wednesday, two days before we had to go back home, and I was like, I don't want to go back home. Like, I'm not ready. <laughs> and he's like, Precious, I want to see the roof. Like, when are you going to show me the roof? And I'm like, dude. Okay, why are you so obsessed with the roof? Like, sure, we'll go up to the roof, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and so, we go up to the roof. Chris and Simon are secretly up there. And I'm over here Facebook videoing, like, because I, I put together this album so that our families could know we're alive. And I'm videoing, I'm like, yeah, nobody's up here. Like, we're the only ones, the rooftop, you know? And then he goes, I have to talk to you about something. Because you want to know, because he, he, he tells me that there's a surprise up there that I don't know about. That I, there's something about this hotel um, that I don't know. And so I'm going, okay, cool. And then he starts talking about his life and what I mean to him. And I'm with this look on my face like, this can't be happening, this is wrong, this is not, no, I was, I was right, like, it's not, it's, he's not doing this now. Like, this is not happening right now. So I'm so confused. And then I hear his knee hit the ground and I'm like, oh, what? And so he asks me, and I'm going, what? Yes! And, but I, I was confused, so my face was going, yes? And he goes, you sure? Because it, if you need to think about it, like, it doesn't, and I'm just, that's when I, like, it hits me, and I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> this is real, it's really happening, and then Chris and Simon run out from the shadows with the champagne, and the Sprite for him because he doesn't drink alcohol, and... It's just this magical thing, and at this point, Valencia could not get any more special than it is now. So, this next song is the title track of the EP that I released the following day after I got engaged. Um, Agua de Valencia is about him. And if y'all know it, sing along at home. This has been a really popular one, and it's really close to my heart. So here's Agua. te pregunto siempre estás ahí para validar mis sentimientos alejar el dolor sabes encantado como un poción mágica con cada solo tú me dibujas agua de valencia eres mi preferencia
da tempo es quanto tempo te ama tu me enamoré de mi mejor amigo esta venida me cuenta que tiene mi corazón agua de valencia es mi preferencia cada momento contigo se siente como una luna de mi agua de valencia agua de valencia
Thank you for loving me, for supporting me. Stay healthy, stay safe, and just always keep loving each other. I love you all so, so, so much, and thank you. So we're going to do that one one more time. Let me choose my words real carefully. No. 
live thing we got going on here. Well, the point is I wouldn't even bother because if that's going to happen, they'll send them to Bill. You know, they don't call me. I wouldn't bother. Oh, do you want me to? Mm. <laughs> Guess we don't really need the frame. And, oh, jeez. Bring the heat, didn't she? <laughs> Invite. Invite. Search. Text field. Search for friends. All friends. Heading. Search. Text field. Search for friends. Search. S. A. A. B. N. N. A. A. Close. Button. Clip. 64 here. Button. Invite. Search. Text. Right on in. Button. Invite. On a video. Invite. On a video. Button. Invite. Dim. On a video. Right on in. Search. Text. Right on. Invite. On a video. Invite. Dim. Button. Invite. Dim. Invite. Dim. Search. On a video. Text. Right on. Invite. On a video. Button. On a video. Send. Dim. Button. On a video. Button. Invite. Dim. Button. On. Send. Dim. Button. Send. On a video. Button. Send. Dim. On a video. Button. Send. On a video. Button. On a video. Yeah. Anna, I don't know if you're getting that invite. Uh. Clip. Sixty viewers. Invite friends to watch. Head. Search. On. Right on. Button. Invite. Dim. Close. Button. Clip. Close. Clip. Sixty viewers. Invite friends to watch. Heading. Oh, I like it. This is being strange. Hold on. My bad, y'all. Wow, the camera was not even. Okay, I'm sorry. Search. On. Right on. Button. Um, invite. Dim. On video. Button. Send. Dim. On video. Button. On video. Send. Dim. Button. Close. Button. Clip. 59 viewers. Invite. Search. On. Right on. Invite. Dim. Close. Button. Huh. Strange. Uh. 
to do it separate. We will, um, so we're gonna do, I think I have to make a new video that says allow people to join. So we're gonna finish this one. Um, thank you all. And if you want to ask questions, feel free to ask to the next, uh, next video. We'll be doing that separately. Voice over on Facebook, comment, button.